Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, September 23rd, 2019 edition. Make sure to watch till the end where for your convenience, I do a recap of all the dramas that have premiered. In this edition, 10 years late premieres, Storm Eye releases some new pictures, and what's up Weibo? But first, an update on first meeting last farewell, Kenny Lin's newest drama since Princess Agents. He posted this romantic picture of him with his leading lady, Kai Yueshi, on his Weibo account and simply captioned it, Mwa. The drama tells the story of an ex-cop who returns to the force for an undercover mission, and during the mission, he gets involved in a love triangle. The drama started filming in May and many actors have started to rap now. When actors get rapped on set, they get a warm round of applause and a bouquet of flowers from the production as a gesture of appreciation. Being the star of the show, Kenny will probably stay until the last few days until he gets his. 10 Years Late starring Sean Doe and Guli Naja premiered on September 19th on Aichii and Tencent. It is not available officially on YouTube yet, but I did a search which returned a bunch of unofficial uploads, so if you want to check it out there, you could probably catch a few episodes before they eventually get removed. Most of the ones that I saw did not have English subs. A few minutes in the first episode and I noticed that all the actors are overdubbed, which is disappointing. There's a scene when Sean Doe's character says a few words in English, and they used live recording for that so we get to hear his own voice, which makes it all the more apparent that everything else is overdubbed. Guli Naja and Jeremy Xu work together again. Their last outing was in Return the World to You, which just ended its run in August. The story moves right along as the love triangle between the top three billed actors is quickly made apparent. Personally, I'll probably pass on this one, but I know people who love exactly this type of dramas. If you enjoyed Return the World to You, maybe give this one a shot as well. Another drama that's premiered recently, in fact just earlier today, is On the Road, starring Liu Ye and Ma Yili, both of whom I'm a fan of. The drama revolves around the ups and downs of a man's life as he breaks ground in the field of online express delivery. Now this looks more like a drama that I could follow for a while. The main and supporting cast are all terrific, the dialogue is all their own voices, and the story is developing at a good pace. There's only one episode for now, but of course more will arrive in the coming days. They are available on YouTube at their official channel, China Zone. No English subs at the moment though. Pretty Man 2 is a modern drama starring Dylan Xiong and Lai Yumeng, and it premiered earlier today. It tells the 13-year love story between an established movie star and a rookie movie star, and is a sequel to Pretty Man, which starred Dylan Xiong and Sierra Lee. For those of you who watched Pretty Man, Lai Yumeng steps in to play Sierra Lee's character, Chiao An Hao. No idea why Sierra Lee didn't reprise her role, but usually fans aren't happy when a lead actor gets replaced. Personally, I didn't see season 1 so I can't really comment, but I hope that those of you who are anticipating season 2 still enjoy it despite the replacement. Season 1 is available on YouTube with English subs, but season 2 might take a little longer. Storm Eye, the upcoming spy thriller drama starring Yang Mi and Vin Zhang, recently released some new posters and a trailer. The drama tells the story of national security agents protecting the country's resources. You can find the suspenseful trailer on YouTube. Storm Eye sounds like the perfect drama for this 100-day period of broadcasting patriotic shows, but I doubt that they will finish in time to premiere it. They wrapped filming in July, and post-production usually takes at least half a year. More on this when they provide updates, so stay tuned. The Young Lady of the General's House is an upcoming costume drama starring Caesar Wu and Tang Ming, and they recently released their first posters. The drama tells the story of the spoiled mistress of a royal manor who marries a general. She faces a struggle as the emperor commands her to spy on her husband's family. Caesar Wu was recently a part of F4 in last year's Meteor Garden remake, whereas Tang Ming was a member of the girl band SNH48. Although the drama is headlined by relative newcomers, it's got some interesting looking stills, and a premise that's got potential. And we could always use more costume dramas. And now it's time for What's Up Weibo, a segment where I bring you guys updates on the latest interesting posts by Chinese celebs on their Weibo feeds. And today we begin with Del Raba. On September 23rd, Del Raba posted a video of her endorsing Adidas women. 
Her message, in a nutshell, was to create that that's never been seen. On the same day, Teng Lun posted a picture of him endorsing L'Oreal, and his message was, Wanna have a new look? I have an excellent L'Oreal essential oil family. Start today, listen to me, don't be dry. Further back, he posted a couple of pictures of him with his fans. He does this quite a lot, which is awesome. He simply captioned it with emoticons of people holding hands. Then Zhang posted a picture of him endorsing head and shoulders. His message was, whether you are a fascinated new graduate or a nervous new entrant to the workforce, this is a new stage of life. Head and Shoulders and Tmall have launched a custom gift box that will make you full of energy. Xiao Chan posted some pictures of him in Milan and his message was, first time 24 hours in Milan. A positive breakthrough, planting trees to compensate carbon dioxide emissions. I believe environmental protection will be one of fashion's newest trends. Leo Luo posted a couple of pictures of himself at what looks like an airport. His message was, surfing in the air feels not bad. Makes me think of what my first meal will be when I get back. And finally, Mark Chow, who's usually pretty quiet on Weibo, posted some GQS pictures of him at a Hugo Boss event on September 22nd. His message was, met boss, found my calm self. And before I let you guys go, here's a quick recap of all the dramas that have premiered. 10 Years Late, starring Sean Do and Guli Naja, premiered on September 19th. On the Road, starring Liu Ye and Ma Yili, premiered on September 23rd. And Pretty Man 2, starring Dylan Xiong and Lai Yumeng, premiered on September 23rd. So that's it for today, guys. But while I have your attention, I'd like to ask you to visit my crowdfunding page Patreon, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll give one of you guys a shout out and answer your question at the end of one of my YouTube episodes. You can find the link in the description box below. This show would not be possible without your support, whether it's through Patreon or simply by watching, subscribing, and liking. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers.